In today's video, we're testing out the myth that a frozen person would shatter on impact. Guys, today we're here with our friend Nicole, and she brought us a video idea, so we brought her on to help us test it out. Nicole, what are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna see uh, if we can shatter people parts. Right. People parts. <laughs> Why are we testing this? Well, you know, there's, there's a lot of ductility in matter, and usually the colder something gets, the more likely it is to, to shatter. It's brittle. And um, usually these are things, like plastics, you leave a sled out too long, it gets cold, it shatters. But it's questionable if something like that could happen with fibrous materials like a person. Here's the basic idea. Today we're going to be testing out if a frozen person would shatter like you might see in movies. We're gonna try freezing it in a few different ways and see how much impact it really takes. So you were listening to a podcast and that's where some of this idea came from, right? Yeah, I had listened to a podcast where they were discussing really how likely is it and how likely is it to occur naturally in the wild if you were just stuck out in the Arctic and left to your own devices in the elements. Could it happen at those temperatures? Or could it really only happen with supernatural things like Mortal Kombat, Sub-Zero, Epic that's his, Punch That's his the finishing face. move, yeah. yeah. He like freezes someone and then shatters them. It, and in the tropes you were talking about in early 90s movies, it often happens with liquid nitrogen, which you guys obviously have access Mysterious, to. Mysterious, <laughs> magical, super cold stuff that most people don't really ever get to play with. But people who have used it are just like, that's not really how that works. Not quite. So today we're gonna to be testing that out and we've got a few different types of human analogs. A couple kinds of pork and some chicken. This right here is a pork hawk. It's like part of the leg and I got this because it has bone, it has flesh, and it actually, this is the skin on the outside of it. So this is kind of gonna simulate a person with bone, flesh, and skin. We then have just some raw chicken and Grant has actually done a video where he froze some raw chicken breast before and he shattered it. And then we have pork tenderloin and I got this because it's got all of the long fibrous muscle tissue and pork is supposed to be fairly similar to human tissue and I thought this would simulate pretty well just long pieces of muscle. Um, so we're going to try all of these and we're going to try freezing them in different ways. All right, so I want to start with the leaves because that's a really cool way of showing how liquid nitrogen can make things brittle. So right now... Hey, like leaves. Leaves! <laughs> Doesn't really do much, but if we put it in the liquid nitrogen... Thank you. And that is probably about five seconds right there. Yep. And uh, smack it. Shattered like a person's face in Jason X. I'm gonna test it by hitting it on that thing here. So before... Very ductile, flexible. So scraping You've... a little bit of skin yeah. off. But that's about it. So now I'm just gonna try and smack it on the same bar and see if it breaks this time. Go for it. And... Wow! Ooh. Well, it didn't shatter into little pieces, but it broke. It split open. Bifurcated right now. Nicely. So hitting it with a hammer, it breaks apart pretty well. And it definitely snaps in half. Nice. Let's see if it... I don't know, this stick might just... Oh. Splintering, bending, did not just... That just breaks in half easily. All the way through, the fibers don't stop it. So even with fibers, it does get to a point where it can just break all the way through, but it didn't just shatter from hitting it. And I hit it yeah. pretty hard on a steel bar. Yep. Well, before we get into liquid nitrogen freezing the meat, I think I have seen some versions where people were just like stuck in a freezer overnight or something, you know, then, yeah. and they froze that way. So I have... Uh, each of these types of meat that's just been freezing in a freezer okay. overnight. And so we can start by trying to smash those and see if that's cold enough that we've lost all that ductility you're talking about. Let's, I'm gonna take one of them and just hit it. And then the other one we can hit it with a hammer. So I'm just gonna see if anything happens to this. Kind of cracked in half. It didn't crack all the way. The fibers we're talking about really held onto it there. Mm. So there's a crack, I can, oh. There you go, you can see some of those fibers. Yeah, just especially where the fatty resisting. tissue is. Resisting. Does not want to come apart. There we go. All right, so it took some finagling, but I did get it apart. You wanna just hammer blow yep, onto that let's one? let's go for it. Hey, you broke it. All right. I wouldn't call it shattering. Yeah, it's more of a smush. And I also wanna show that it broke along the fibers. Mm -hmm. It didn't yep. break across them. The fibers are still holding it together and we definitely have directional change here. This is one of the hawks. So it's a piece of like leg or arm of the pig. 
Uh, and so it's got bone, meat, and skin on the outside. And uh, let's just let's just go to the hammer on this one. I think that's going to be the more decisive blow. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I think we have uh, successfully oh. cracked our paver stone. There we go. All right, paver stone cracked. And here you can see the impact mm -hmm. where the hammer clobbered it. Okay, we successfully broke our paver stone the other direction now, <laughs> it's in quarters. But this, you know, this is getting closer to the thickness of a person as compared to this little filet of chicken that's half an inch thick at the thickest part. Whereas this, that's not even coming close to shattering. But this one, this is the pork tenderloin. This is just a long strip of muscle and the fibers should be running this direction. So I'm curious to see Without what kind bone. of breakage we can get. Yeah, no bones, no skin in this one. Take a, take a good whack. It was a okay. dent. Yeah. We marked the surface of it. Still. No shattering. Unfazed. All right. Being in a freezer is not getting this cold enough to shatter when hit by a hammer. Now it's time we move on to our more extreme cooling methods, I think. All right. That took like a minute or so. Wow. Maybe more. All right. Grab your hammer. Ready? Go for it. So ready. Oh! <laughs> Shattered to bits. That's oh, what we were hoping guys, for. Guys, this is a new way to make shredded chicken. chicken hey, dust. there you go. So at full frozen liquid nitrogen temperatures, the shattering is definitely possible. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially for a piece of chicken that's only half an inch thick. <laughs> ourselves a smoked ham hock, which doesn't want to come out of the liquid nitrogen. Awfully slippery. Okay, okay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha. you did it. What? You broke it in half! Oh, I got some shattering. You broke it you in did. half! Not nearly as much as the chicken, yeah. but it is definitely some shattering, and lead is well frozen all the way through. The fiber direction does not seem to matter. Inconsistent. Mm -hmm. It just broke in a glass-like way. Solid hit. Like, this is still only as thick as, like, the thin parts on a person. Like, that's yeah. not a thigh or anything like that. And I don't think I'd have enough strength to break through like a, an important, like a large part of a person. An important part of a an person? Part. Yeah, it's just an ankle. Just Those are, eh, you know, who cares? <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that took quite a hit. All right. Who's, who's hitting this one with a hammer? I think I've done a couple. Kelly, I'll hit one with a hammer. Three, two, one. Oh, shattered everywhere. Ooh, you heard it. <laughs> Like glass. And that definitely shattered right across the fibers. Wow! So I gotta say, if you manage to freeze a person all the way down to liquid nitrogen temperatures, which cannot happen in five seconds, uh, it took probably five minutes to get this piece, but let's say that there's an industrial pool of liquid nitrogen <laughs> and you fell in it and just, oh, Stay two there days for, later they managed yeah. to, to lift your body out with a crane and then as they're like, oh, fell off, whoosh, I do think you would shatter into pieces. Yep. yep. We have tiny right. little shrapnel, like we have pork dust here and it is oh. just oh so broken. People shattering like you see in movies, um, I mean, Sub-Zero, in Mortal Kombat, yeah. he clearly has like magic, magic. powers. Supernatural yes. existence. So we can just say that maybe his magic attack instantly cools a person all the way down to liquid nitrogen temperatures, and then you could yeah. shatter them because he's also very good at punching and kicking. Very cool. And what was the name of the podcast again that talked about this? Um, Stuff to Blow Your Mind. Stuff to Blow awesome. Your Mind. Awesome. There you go. Cool podcast idea. Yep. Um, and Nicole, thank awesome. you for bringing this to us. This is awesome. Anytime. <laughs> Fun to just shatter pieces of meat. And I hope we didn't hide too much of the visual by putting it in bags because I did not want raw pork and chicken flying. We still got some. Can't some <laughs> fell out. We'll have to Why find you wouldn't those. want that around. Very cool. Guys, if there's other stuff you want to see us test like this, let us know down in the comments. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. If you like this kind of content, remember to hit that button to subscribe so you never miss out on the fun. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.